Hello everyone, welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are solving a problem from the photoelectric effect. Let us read out the problem. It is given that on the photo metal of work function 4.8 electron volts, two lights of wavelengths 2480 angstrom and 600, 6000 angstrom are allowed to incident. If the uniform magnetic field of 3 into 10 power minus 5 tesla is applied perpendicular to the ejected electrons, what is the radius of the circular path taken by the ejected electrons? That's the problem. So first of all, whether the incident wavelengths are able to release electrons from the metal surface or not has to be checked. As wavelength lambda is given in angstrom we can get the energy directly in electron volts by using a formula energy in electron volts is 12400 by lambda in angstrom using that formula in case 1 12400 by lambda is 2840 angstrom will give an energy of 4.8 electron volts so in the first no, no, not 4.8, sorry, 5 electron volts. It is going to be equal to be 5 electron volts. Now, as the work function is only 4.8 electron volts and instant energy is 5 electron volts, there will be emitted electrons moving from cathode to anode with a certain kinetic energy. According to Einstein photoelectric equation, energy equal to work function plus kinetic energy. Instant energy is 5 electron volts, work function is 4.8 electron volts, and kinetic energy. That implies kinetic energy is 5 minus 4.8, that is 0 0.2 electron volts, that is 0 0.2. We can convert that electron volts into, say, 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 joules. As we have got the kinetic energy using the formula kinetic energy equal to half mv square, we can calculate the velocity is root of 2 into kinetic energy by mass of the electron. Now, this electron moving with this velocity entered into the magnetic field perpendicularly, so it experiences a force BQV as a centripetal force mv square by r that implies radius of the circular path is mv by pq mass v we have already determined just now 2 into kinetic energy of the mass again bq substituting all these values we can get the radius of as 5 centimeter so in the first case, electron experiences the circular path of radius 5 cm. How about the second one? Let us discuss that also. Who is having an energy of 6000 angstrom? So, 6000 angstrom is the wavelength. Corresponding energy in electron volt is 12400 by 6000, who is equal to something like 2.08 electron volts. Energy of this photon is less than that of the work function, who is given in the problem as 4.8 electron volts. So, there is no emission of photoelectrons itself in this case. So, no question of taking a circular path at all. So, only in the first case, there is a circular path of radius 5 centimeters, but not in the second case. Thank you for watching. Keep coming back for more and more video lessons. Thank you.